ओके ओके यू कैन सी माय स्क्रीन नो सर नो ओके आई शेयर द वीडियो ओके यू कैन सी द टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स ऑर्डर टू साइकिल राइट यस सर हाँ या ओके सो O2 C cycle. What all we'll see here? I'll put an Excel sheet so that I can cover in theory also. So, what is O2 C cycle, sir? Tell me your idea. Uh, O2 C means order to cash, sir. From uh, yeah. order management, uh, from uh, from uh, sales to cash. That is the uh, flow of. Uh, From order to cash. Okay. Sir. Any other sir. points you can tell, ma'am? Projects, uh, sir. From projects or uh, um, this one, purchase. Uh, yeah. Tell bit loud. Sir, uh, from projects. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll see. Uh, or you order to cash and the customer. So, who is a customer in uh, receivable module? Who buys uh, from us? Uh, who buys? What is the difference between a party and a customer? We sell. We sell. Huh? Pardon? Party. Party. P R T U I. Party and a customer. Any difference? You know, or both are same. Party means uh, we, we can tell he, whether he is a supplier or customer. Generally, general term we use as party, but specific means customer. We, Uh, we have to sell vendor supplier means vendor supplier customer like that we have to specifically tell okay 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 what are the type of invoices you have in receivable module invoices uh, uh, credit memo debit memo yeah. standard invoice sale return that is uh, Return, uh, sale return. Sale return. Return. Uh, what do you call in Oracle? We don't call credit it. Uh, memo. Credit memo or debit? Yes, correct. Debit memo. Okay. So, so what is the difference between AR and AP? Debit memo, credit memo. Both the way. So they're right, negative right? in uh, yes, sir. They're negative in payable. Which is negative in payable? Uh, credit memo and debit memo. Okay. Sir, you any idea? Sir, this relates to customer, sir. Uh, suppose uh, credit memo is the uh, where uh, in uh, accounts receivable uh, where they have written the uh, stock. For which we have to give credit to them, and debit memo for which uh, they have some price difference or and all. For that uh, we raise the debit memo. Okay, we'll get into the okay. oracle terms. Order to cash. So okay. whenever you order to cash. Okay. Okay. So you can see the diagram, right? Order to cash life cycle. So what is this? Is the O to C life cycle? Okay. Okay. when you say o to c it starts from where it generates order and it end with the gl okay so you create order enter the sales order you check the credit limit of the customer you book the order this is sales order no accounting entry will be generated then the actual shipping pick release ship confirm these are all uh, can be done in order management then it comes to invoice sales revenue invoice after ship confirm the accounting entry generated for the finished goods and cost of goods sold then manually or through auto invoice program receivable invoice will be generated then you recognize the revenue okay then receipt will be created after the collection team also will be involving on the receipt collection then it goes to the cash management module for bank reconciliation it can be automatic or manual then the accounting entry flows to the gl this cycle is called o to c cycle okay right see the given here so 
CO2 cycle we seen, right? Enter order. See how we enter in this system. You enter a sales order. You perform credit check. See how credit check is performed in the system. Actually, actually how credit check is performed. Sir, any idea? In your uh, uh, company, you would have seen. Will, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, credit check, uh, sir. Uh, if there is any uh, overdue of the customer. Okay, you will check whether there is a balance. Uh, okay, uh, that is yeah, one if point. there is okay. any, it will block the. Uh, it will not allow. Then, ma'am, you it are in your. Yes, the civil rating and all that's in a general. Uh, but in order but to civil rating a... and all for our business, maybe it is only finance that type of business. For every business, we have this. See, suppose if a customer is having only million credit limit, so if you are crossing that limit, the billing will not allow until he settles okay. down. Okay, that is a normal one. Like uh, the sir told, it is also because he is due for the past or we can put a hold on the credit check. Hold. Copy an order or return and through EDA data interface, extended interface, or import from CRM, customer related modules, and other system, external system you can do. Okay. So you can do in Oracle or it can be legacy system from the other module. Okay. This is what order management that SCM people will study in detail. For finance, you should have knowledge how it performs. Okay. Pricing, we don't have shipping, auto invoice. See, auto invoice, there is some setup will be made in the order management where once you enter the sales order and ship, the program, auto invoice program will run from the order management and it, through interface table, it will generate the invoices. Okay. This is the same. Okay. Please uh, tell me, anyone. <coughs> Please read. Yes. Can you read the question? Yeah, in the order uh, to cash life cycle, order cash management collects the payments for customer invoices and posts the receipts. True, sir. So order cash management. So what they say in the order to cash life cycle, cash management collect the payments, but we uh, and post the receipt. So what they say, it is coming from cash management module to AR module, but we only create the receipt, right? Then it goes to AR module. That is also there. Sir, what do you say? Maybe that is correct also. Because there is some systems implemented in the bank. Okay. There is some automated systems like MT940 generate from the bank statement. Through the statement, it can be generated receipt. This may be correct also. But normally, we create the receipt. Okay. See, the correct answer is until the payment is the receipt is then posted the cash money pulls the information from postal receipt to the bank account. so what they say okay it is done in receivables not in cash management that's what they say okay okay no 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 the receipt is posted in receivable they didn't yeah, say it yeah. is wrong or true or false see there are two methods so, like i say uh -huh. if you collect a check you enter in receipt once it realizes it will hit the bank correct it will take three more days mm. so first it will hit the receivable receipt another way if we are having automated receipt automated bank reconciliation like there is some format mt940 we will pull from the bank data okay like the customer directly remitted to bank you don't know you didn't create the receipt so end of the day the receipt entry will come in the bank and automatically it will create as a receipt in the AR. Okay. So in that type, what the statement is true. Okay. But your Norm answer is true, no, sir. They've given it as false. No, normally it is false. I am telling you when it is automated, okay. it is true. Yeah. That is also possible. Okay. okay. That's why okay. they are telling. Normally it is goes through because once it crosses AR only, it should go to cash management. That is our flow. Correct? Okay. Yes, sir. That's what they say. But now there is automated system which creates automatic receipts from the bank statement whatever they say that can be also done okay so okay. it is not true or false you, because you are a consultant you have to give some valid points okay. then it will be correct points. on that scenario okay, okay. okay. what is this Chose the steps is correct moving okay this is uh, this uh, supply chains 
auto invoicing part of the accounting phase in the order life cycle what is this true or false you understand auto invoicing part of accounting phase in the order life cycle true uh, only if you enable it i mean is yeah. a part of it's true phase. yes sir it okay. is it's collecting phase it says collecting phase I don't. I also don't understand. Okay. Order management. They would have mentioned something, no, sir, about it in the theory. On top, just on top, they would have mentioned it. No, no, not that. Auto invoicing is a program which pulls from sales or um, uh, order management to AR. Okay. The what they say it is part of the collection phase in order in the order life cycle. Here they say it is collection phase only. It is done. Okay. We say accounting phase. Okay, we'll see. No, order management sent to receive the advance order. Which of the statement are incorrect? Read it. Which of these statements are incorrect? Order management send information to receivables through auto invoicing. Advanced collection manages the collection efforts. Oracle payments handle revenue processing. Accounting information is sent from receivables to general ledger. Point only is correct. Uh, order management send information to receivables through auto invoicing, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is correct. Order management sends information to receivables through auto invoicing. Okay, then. Second. Advanced, Advanced collection, collection manages yeah. the collection efforts. Co true, sir. Correct. True, Third is incorrect. Third is incorrect because payments and revenue. Yes, sir. Revenue. Is Fourth. Accounting information is sent ah. from receivables to general ledger. Correct. Correct, sir. Correct. correct. Okay. Except the three. Okay. Three. The correct answer is revenue recognition handles. Okay. See, they given for the point three. Revenue receivable revenue recognition program and still revenue process, not Oracle payments. Okay. Not, yeah. Right. Summary. So same thing O to C. Okay. Uh, now I said uh, the type of invoices in AR. So in receivable we call transactions. In payables we call invoices. In here we have to say transaction to differentiate between both modules. Okay. Sir, can you read this diagram step by step how it flows? Hello. Ah, sir. Ah, can you read this? The overview of transaction process. Ah. Standard transaction. Okay. From that, it getting copied, review ah. and make corrections. If it is a valid transaction, complete okay, print and send. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by copy? Standard transaction, copy, review and make. That is uh, from order it get to, uh, to delivery, then it generates an invoice. From order it it is getting converted to invoice, sir. Okay. Or uh, from order to it it goes to delivery, sir. If there is any corrections and all, uh, we have to make a uh, review it and make it correction. If it is a, a valid means, then we have to generate an invoice. Complete. Complete means creating invoice, print and send to customer. Okay, that's okay. So at the delivery level, we have to review. Uh, what did the copy mean? That is from order. It will get copied, sir. The transaction bill. Customer uh, detail, uh, product detail, uh, uh, that and all will get copied, sir. Once oh, the we credit are check studying is... only about transaction. That means not order. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, sir. Now you imagine what is that? Uh, no idea, sir. This is, uh, so the details of the transaction, like uh, the customer's name or <clears throat> the order number or um, the date, the amount, and everything. 
okay mm, what do you mean by valid transaction and invalid transaction Uh, the difference in the date, or maybe the amount, or the uh, you know the functional currency or foreign currency, if it, if all the details are not correct, I mean if the error pops out somewhere, or maybe um, there has to be uh, some approval to be taken. Okay. okay. Or if What? the order is cancelled. Huh? If the if suppose the customer uh, cancels the order, I don't want that. Uh, i don't want product and all so at the time we will make the mm-hmm. make it as daily so it's a invalid transaction okay so pathing okay what is standard transaction na normal transaction okay yeah. oracle receivable as a uh, option of copying the invoices you can copy existing invoice into how many copies okay. you want you can make a copy of the transaction then you can review the copy transaction and make correction and do it a normal transaction can be valid if all the fields like she said all the things are there but validity the line item and the header item it will match if it's not there it is invalid that means it will not save and get up line and the header okay. header and line, line same, and header. Okay. same is ap it should not be different and uh, everything should be equal all the fields should be filled and uh, everything should be done okay right that's what they say ori of the transaction okay original invoice invoice copy that is the copy and you have invoice with rule accounting rule invoice rule installment so what is accounting rule invoice rule installment um accounting rules are uh, yeah tell me cash or uh, accrual basis i mean yeah tell me sir huh? accounting rule invoice rule what do you what do you mean invoice rule okay sir please continue sorry i'm hmm? sorry to interrupt you sir sir raman sir please continue I yeah, yeah. yeah 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 Inv- yeah sir uh, invoicing rule there is no uh, rule set for invoicing sir okay mm. so th- there is no rule for uh, invoicing set uh, th- mm. it can be created sir uh, without a rule also it can be created but accounting rule uh, uh, ap- uh, there is a rule when uh, we re- receive a receipt uh, that is uh, by conversion method we receive a re- recognition of, account recognition should happen sir that is revenue recognition then only that accounting rule takes place that is very important okay we'll see okay okay uh, invoice rule invoice rule accounting rule okay mm. so it also uh, in the rule i think uh, uh, they say even if the customer is uh, you know want to make payment in advance or okay yeah we'll see in detail okay yeah. okay okay or the other in balance what is balanced forward billing balance forward billing is like that it is like a one sending one consolidated bill of all transactions okay okay i will explain you excel auto invoice okay see auto invoice process it is automatically processing the data there is interface table in between the two modules okay so whenever it struck the errors are corrected the errors are corrected in the exception report and then once again the program run it will flows into the receivable module okay once you got the receipt then you will do the remittance okay other than the wire transfer remitting into the bank a remittance steps is also there see they say manual quick cash automatic that you can see in the system okay advanced collection there is a separate module we have a collection menu in the oracle receivable you have a separate module of advanced collection only the collections will be done okay see 
what is a collection you send after a particular time this if you done the configuration for the dunning letter automatically system will get the first dunning letter to the client it, if you run the report the statement statement of account will be generated along with the first dunning letter it will be a, a normal dunning letter please play our amount like this uh, okay after 15 days whatever the specific date you are specific the second dunning letter will go third dunning letter will go like a warning letter okay that legal suit can be made everything like that you can make the dunning letters so especially you want to make the collection you have to go to the advanced collections but dunning letters can be made in receivables also okay correct understood and there is a module called also i receivables what is i receivable the net receivable it is like the receivable customer creation screen or all the screen given to the customer directly they will fill the data and it will be uploaded in our database so mostly the i receivable you see the credit card companies and the banks online we are applying loan etc can be made like that okay what is this can you read anyone hello yeah. ah read this quiz hello ah uh, you can correct the transaction once they are printed no sir false madam hello okay we'll see the answer i think once they are accounted only you cannot correct the correct answer is you can set the allow changes okay there is a profile option okay. allow changes to printed transaction okay in the system option there is a accounting receivable setup when you do that to yes okay. you can correct when it is a to no you cannot correct so it is controlled like a profile option is like in the mobile you will have a profile option so according to your use you will change the setup right so according to the uh, organization's design they will they want to have or not it is based on the company policy so the implementers will go there they have to check what they want according to them we can say everything will be documented okay receipt can be entered in any of which of this ways manual quick class transfer automatic which are correct uh, manual quick cash uh, and automatic transfers will be done in cash management i think in r12 okay 1 to 4 right transfer means within banks mm -hmm. it will be done in uh, this one cash management it is there not in receipt okay mm -hmm. Ah, uh, one more thing. Oracle Advanced Collection uses Dunning plans as a collection method. What will be the answer? True, sir. True, true, sir. Which of these feature of Oracle I receivable? Leave it. We don't have I receivable. Okay. Managing party. It is creating a customer. This we can see in the better in the. uh that uh, what we say uh, activity manager okay in the activity we see how they will create okay it is upgraded hello i don't know sir hello yeah ah uh, yeah you are there that means it is upgraded <laughs> okay 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 uh, a customer organization or person relationship okay what is i asked what is the difference between customer and a party okay a customer is a normal customer sir can you read this party model overview hello ha ah, sir can you read this party model you overview to... yeah the party model flows through the entire e business suite there is just one record to represent both a prospect and a customer the entity itself is recorded such as a person or an organization when customer when customer terms are established the entity record represents a prospect once customer terms are recorded that same record now represents the entity as your customer thus there is no separate list to maintain and reconcile in the oracle e business suite there is one record to represent company ab through its enter, entire life cycle okay what do you understand so 
there's only one record which uh, mm. okay see the customer. a customer may be individual or a group of customers uh. that's what they say easy terms see party or organization individual person or organization so it, if you have a party party site if it is an organization you will have a location okay and see there are three accounts under a party okay so you can have multiple number of customers under a single party okay see a party is an entity can enter into business part relationship now you can understand suppose i am running a company called this buddy power infotech see this infotech having a relationship a company b company c company i am having a tie up with a company for placement assistance i am having a tie up with a company for uh, supplying the resources and i am having a tie up with a company for doing the projects okay so whenever i so i am having a tie up so in my name i am bidding the projects i will get the money okay so party as a group i am getting then i will uh, settle them and individually it will be split up so as a party i will be responsibility see a party side is a physical location of the party on night wave process so you can have any anything like a party see the relationship it's a phone company it's having a customer and it is having three types its employee she is also a spouse she is all related to digital mentoring so party relationship can be multiple whatever there is the relationship between two or more concept customers can be made in a party okay understood okay yes sir managing mm. party okay as in for okay see for creating customer or creating a party you need a profile class i told what is profile class okay profile class is a class where you add the customer credit term <coughs> is uh, pay everything we will enter in the profile class and profile class suppose we can split into good customer average customer a bad customer okay like that we'll see in the profile class section <coughs> in detail so you will enter it and we'll create a relationship okay Stuff. Okay, profile class. See, I told like uh, excellent credit, good credit. So I splitted into three types. Okay. So see here for the excellent credit, I given ninety days credit. For the good, I am giving thirty days credit. for poor credit i am giving only cash on delivery no credit term here see no credit check for excellent credit no credit check i am doing here semi annual credit check here i risk quarterly statement i am sending to monthly statement so it is according to me how, how i am classifying my customer that is under a profile class okay right right sir okay customer pro in the profile class is having everything about the customer so a profile class is having credit division which is having uh credit check credit uh, payment dunning letter everything come under credit under invoice and statement you have invoice line statement cycle billing cycle under payment you have payment term discount and grace days everything we will be filled in the profile class okay if there is a late charge to a customer that also can be done there it will be automatically calculated based on the details we give see here in the customer profile class there is a tab called late charge profile in that you have to give so interest invoice will be generated okay yes updating profile class you can say update the profile class whenever you need the customer is updated see they increase the credit limit net 60 days they have given from 30 that also can be done and you can update by a single uh, all profile updated non customized profile the to a concurrent program there is a program you can run okay data could can tell you can entering method okay you can import a customer by bulk import through a data loader web id or whatever it is external tools the same fields as in the system you can put and upload into the system that is called the external system is called so also called a legacy system there's a interface table through the technical team help you can interface into the system okay 
or manually one by one customer you can add it is called tca method okay what is tca we'll see okay okay what are the business issues when we are doing like that see in a customer there is a bill to location and ship to location okay see what is bill to and ship to you know that madam you you know right can you tell what is bill to and ship to so the way the billing the um, address from uh, the customer's address where it need to be billed to and the ship to can also be a different uh, address okay so the billing it address is be bill the same to, billing which is mandatory yeah. ship to is having a mandatory. multiple locations yeah. where the billing only come to the bill to okay it is based on the business what they have to keep okay duplicates and all you have to check how to manage how to manage is the correction see the customer relationship as i told parent child relationship reciprocal relationship what is a reciprocal a b b c is not equal to a to c you understand by the example right c i am only paying to b or receiving from b b is having a relation with c a to b and b to c that means a is not equal to c you you mm -hmm. understand that see yes, suppose yes, i am collecting 10000 from sir sir is giving you 20000 i cannot directly go you and say i will deduct 20000 okay i have to pay to him and the pass accounting entry knock off then he will come to you that is a relationship the kind of the fr same friendly relationship coming to the accounting relationship you understand right yes sir okay because you don't know what is the terms between v2 and he is, he has made a business agreement with the others maybe his credit term is different mine is different and you don't have any agreement directly that's what the account relationship is giving okay tca tc architecture trading community architecture it is a very important yeah, topic in this last one minute it is saying can i stop the share and on we we'll log in sir wait wait yes, wait sir. what happens we'll see less than a minute oracle trading company architecture okay it has a features mm. same party relationship it can be a person it can be organization it can be a group Join the class. Okay, we'll stop and re log in in five minutes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, right. Right. Data phone is connected.